Welcome back, everyone. This is Jason. We're going to talk about Sting and what he posted uh, four days ago. He posted on Twitter and on his Facebook page 71414. Now, this made a lot of people start talking about, uh, you know, what's next for Sting. You know, a lot of people are assuming that he's still going to come to the WWE. Um, some are not so sure. Um, there's a lot of people questioning it just because um, WWE hasn't said anything official. Nobody's said anything. Um, and I'm sure they want to keep it on, on the down low. But... Um, and like I said in one of my last videos, uh, Jim Ross said in a podcast with Stone Cold, said recently that Sting is going to be in uh, WWE 2K15, their next wrestling video game. And he also said he's going to be talking to Sting soon. Now, people are wondering what this whole 7-14-14 is. It's Monday Night Raw's date. Most people assume it's going to be for the video game. Some people are like, oh, it's going to be the day that Sting finally shows up in the WWE. Yeah, it could be. But I just saw something interesting... I was going through, I'm not on Twitter every day. My YouTube account is hooked up to my Twitter account, so whatever I, you know, like on there goes straight to Twitter. Um, like any videos I like goes straight to YouTube, uh, goes straight from YouTube to Twitter. Um, so I go on there every few days just to check stuff out. I don't go out of my way to post stuff on Twitter on a regular basis. Once in a while I will, but mostly it's just stuff from my YouTube account. So I was on Twitter and just for the heck of it, I went to Jeff Jarrett's Twitter and looked to see if he posted anything about uh, his Global Force Wrestling, you know, what his next big announcement is. And he posted on the same day that Sting posted 7-14-14, he posted, working late tonight on the next announcement for Global Force Wrestling. And he's got a couple of hashtags in there, really not worth mentioning. Um, so, if, what does that mean? You know, working on, on the next announcement... He put that on the same day that Sting put his tweet out. And just to probably get more buzz on whatever this is, his wife, Karen Jarrett, Jeff's wife, put, today she tweeted 71414. Now, does that mean that there's a big announcement coming on Monday from Global Force Wrestling as well. Could this mean that maybe he signed Sting and Sting's only going to be in the video game? That would be really odd. Um, something else I just looked up. Um, and this could be just you know, something to create a buzz and Karen Jarrett just trying to get some attention or, you know, get people start talking just like this. Um, I looked up to see when um, <laughs> Jeff Jarrett's birthday is. It's on Monday, 7-14-14. 
uh, you know, so that could have been her way just by saying, oh, yeah, 714 14 is significant in this family, too. It's Jeff's birthday. So, you know, is that, is there really going to be some big announcement coming up from, uh, from Jeff and Karen about Global Force Wrestling? Or is Karen just, you know, trying to create a buzz? You know, Jeff's not stupid. He's a good businessman. You know, he's creating decent business deals for his new company. If you look at the pictures he was posting when he started making announcements for his new company, Global Force Wrestling, he started posting pictures of himself with certain talents. Um... Uh, oh gosh, there were so many of them. I'm trying to think who we all hit, took pictures with. Oh, he took pictures with Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels. I think he also took a picture with Kevin Nash. Um, just a bunch of different, you know, current and old wrestling talents. Made you wonder, is he talking to them about joining his company? So, you know, he's not stupid. He knows how to create a buzz. And... His, uh, you know, his his company is start starting to get some international attention. Um, he's traveling worldwide trying to find talent. So who knows what he's gonna all do to get talent? You know, is he gonna sign some veterans? Is he gonna sign a lot of new talent? Who knows? Um, but whatever this is. <laughs> You know, like I said, it could be just, you know, joking about Jeff Jarrett's birthday coming up on Monday, or it could be a big announcement. I don't know. But I just felt it was significant to bring up seeing as, you know, Sting posted that date and Karen posted it, you know, wondering who's all going to catch it. Well, I caught it. And, you know... We'll, we'll find out on Monday, one way or another, what this all means. Um, more than likely, this is about Sting being in the game. Um, so that'll be exciting. I, I don't think he's going to be um, the alternate cover. I think Hogan's going to get that. Or it, you know, it could be a WCW related thing. I don't know. Who? I don't know. We haven't found out. There hasn't been a trailer yet. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some of that soon, and we can find out what the, you know, the theme is for the new video game, uh, if there is one even. Um, so yeah, uh, is, is Sting gonna show up on Raw? I don't know. We'll we'll see. It's a lot of people guessing he might. I heard someone say, uh, oh, I think I heard Damian Nelson say on the, the pro wrestling report I just watched before making this video. Uh, he made a statement about, oh, what if, what if Sting is the new GM <laughs> on Raw? <laughs> I think David Hero's response was, oh, please. <laughs> So, what is going to happen Monday? I don't know. But I'm looking forward to it. There's a lot of buzz going on. And uh, we'll see what happens. So, what do you think is going to happen Monday? Put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think is all going to happen with Sting. Uh, I, think, I think something's going to happen with Global Force Wrestling on Monday, too, or coming soon. Do you think Jeff is really going to sign Sting? I don't know. A lot of time's gone past. Uh, yeah, one other thing that just popped in my head. You know, there's all this stuff about um, the free... Um, the network's doing the free... Um, you can get the network for free right now. The free preview, excuse me. Free preview. And I know... 
that people's subscriptions to the network are going to be expiring soon. So, you know, did they wait to do something with Sting until, you know, right now during the summer before SummerSlam, before all the network subscriptions expire, so there's something big going on on the network or, you know, on TV for the WWE in general. Could be why they waited and didn't say anything right after WrestleMania. The only thing we heard from Sting after WrestleMania was when um, he made that statement uh Oh, he made a statement on his Facebook page, posted a picture about him and Jim Helwig, the Ultimate Warrior, um, them being together and, uh, you know, sending out his condolences, whatever the whole statement was, just, you know, remembering the Ultimate Warrior, Jim Helwig. And <clears throat> and he was also in... Sting was also in some uh, video packages that the WWE made talking about the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, I believe he was in one of the documentaries that they put out right after he died. And they they interviewed him. So, you know, that was a, a sign right there that, oh, I guess, he's, I guess he's signed. Well, nothing was said after that. So who knows what they're doing? We'll see. Put down in the comments what you think uh, is going to happen. And uh, can't wait for Monday. It's going to be the go-home raw before the next pay-per-view. Uh, Battleground should be a good show. So thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.